Hello all greetings, this is Gilles Mancillon. I thought I'd come to you briefly to wish you a wonderful day. I hope you, you have enjoyed this Easter uh, transformative energy of Easter. For now, um, Venus is, uh, as, was in retrograde, which is our sense of, uh, of, of uh, re regulate all of the love aspect within ourselves. So it is a very, very powerful and potent planet. For me, I, uh, with this retrograde, it's, now it's standing still in Pisces by, with Chiron, and so it's exposing all kinds of wounds and having to to re uh, rethink uh, re uh, readjust in relationship to 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 potentially failed uh, failed romance or relationship to 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 be able to let go and, and so when venus is going to be starting to move forward for it's been like time has stand still for a little while now it's moving forward and so uh, so so we'll see what uh, what life can bring to us in the next uh, in, in the coming times uh, i'm going to do a little card reading i'm going to offer a little exercise and then i'm going to discuss a, a difficult subject of um, the question that was asked for me ask me on on how we can stay in joy living on the earth knowing that there are all kinds of uh, awful things that may be happening still on the planet uh, and then uh, after that, I will uh, I will close with a brief song. So for now, I'm gonna read a few cards for the day. And the card of the day is creativity, exactly the same one as it was in French in the French reading. It is about being both creative and receptive to to not get lost in any detail, to always be able to look at the great uh, at the. When you look at the whole of life, the, the greater the perspective, the more perfect it becomes. However, when you look in the details, sometimes details are not being perceived in the highest light. So do not get lost in those details and allow yourself to always open up to a greater view, a greater vision of, of wholeness, of receptivity, while at the same time moving forward with creative function so that you can live and stay in the present. As exactly in the same, exactly the same card, I mixed them up though, exactly the same card as we had in, in the French reading, in, in the invisible world we have Osho, we have the master, we have the ascended potential, we have the sovereignty that is coming to us, we're going to be able to experience new level of, of empowerment that will be coming to us. The same cards are being repeated again. So here we have, uh, in the visible world, we have control. So what do we control and what do we not control? The control is moving from controlling others, from controlling situation to controlling ourselves. From the, it is from the inner control that we are able to to actually, uh, uh, we are able to actually return to our sovereignty because otherwise we are looking for with a scapegoat outside of us without assuming the responsibility of our thoughts. For that is really because if anything fell, it is never because of anybody else, it's because our level of preparedness or ability to utilize certain resources or utilize certain opportunity, we are not ready for it. So we, those things have taught us certain things and now we are more and more ready as time goes on. What we are learning is conditioning, for conditioning is about following what others have been said, have been told. And for that I will uh, definitely recommend to understand <laughs> the idea of programmation and conditioning. Uh, one of the most important uh, author of the 20th century in English literature, his name is George Orwell. Uh, the book I'm talking about is his last book, 1984. Uh, the book, uh, in essentially, will... We'll, I've read it a long time ago, I'm going to reread it, but essentially what, it, it, what it's explained is that um, the theme of the book is that ignorance is strength and war is peace. Uh, ignorance will never be strength and war will never be peace. But if you repeat that one time, ten times, a thousand times, a million times to, to, to someone over time, millions of times, people will believe it and, and then they will adopt it as a belief system. And so the whole system is based on that, the understanding that humanity can be programmed into fear and submission when actually we, our, our sole purpose in this lifetime is to liberate ourselves from the matrix, to, to attain that state of lucidity, of joy and, and to raise above all those uh, those things because um, wh what we gain from understanding that uh, that conditioning is the miser is the ability is, is the, the the lack is the the, the 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 fear of lost it's it's all those things for what you have is already given to you by the universe you can only receive more by giving more and so 
you, you do have to, as, as we move into more acceptance, more, more, more sharing into life, it is not just about material thing, it's about everything, we move into higher level of experience. We are able to become more connected to nature uh, and to have deeper experiences. What these experiences will bring in the first place is the idea of patience for all things take time. Um, the understanding that uh, we, we cannot solve uh, uh, war with violence, it is, it is with love, patience, perseverance, uh, uh, very uh, delicate uh, understanding of understanding everybody's uh, sensitivity to come to a mutual understanding that would benefit all sides, that you can actually get to somewhere where people accept to, to let go of all those insanity. Uh, so, so it is... Um, we, we're going to be moving into a new world of, uh, uh, I mean, the, the light is, is dissolving everything, all those dark shadow matrix that has been going on for a very long time. We're coming out of the Kali Yuga, the age of decadence, and so all the darkness was supported by the universe, but now it is over. The only thing left is some, uh, some chromies uh, uh, on, on the surface of the earth that are still trying to hang on to the little bit of power they still have, but this is gone. This is, we're moving into a new age. And so, uh, I think no matter what uh, I've been discussing in, Fran uh, in the French video, some of my uh, some political idea, although they are, they are kind of apolitical, it is uh, because every being, that, whether they are politician or not, they all beloved children of God and they all uh, are unique and, and, and precious to the universe. It is just that within the illusion of time, people are carrying ideas that are furthering the plan personally furthering my plan of the golden age and peace for the world or working on opposition to that. I'm not judging those who are working in opposition to that, yet I have to put my energy and support towards those that will be helping in that sense to, to, to create more peace and a greater cultural expansion. So, um, so yeah, this in essence, this is really what we need to do. We can, no matter what happening in the world, we, we have to, to detach from, 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 from this power control, from, from this, uh, it means that there is a karma at work. When there is suffering, it means there is karma. One of them has to forgive, to break the cycle of karma, but you cannot do that for anybody else. Everybody's got to, to figure that out by themselves. And, and the, the Buddha wanted to extinguish all ignorances. He claimed that he would not enjoy perfect knowledge until all beings would be delivered from suffering, which was a very noble thought, but he was censured by the universe who said, no, that's not possible. Perfect knowledge is attained by understanding the pure and the impure in the same time, the dark and the light in the same time. For even if this planet ascends, which it will, and, and if we all move into a paradise state of being and we, we all enjoy the earth, a new universe will be created a little bit down further away where new ignorance will be created for the, for the continuation of the expansion of the universe. So ignorance will always be there. you got to accept it. And in many sense, we... If you, you would use the, um, the symbol of a building as the, the collective consciousness of humanity, most people live on the ground floor. That sometimes we go into the basement, we get depressed, we don't see the light. Sometimes we move into the first floor, we have a nice view, we smell the roses. But the idea is to go all the way to the penthouse where all things are lux, calm and volupté. It's absolute bliss and happiness. Yet in, in this knowledge, you know, even if you live in the penthouse, you are aware that they are so... <laughs> and down there it smells really bad. So if you go down there, don't... Don't expect for the, the if you go into the lower of, uh, lowest of the lowest of the astral plane, you, you will see that uh, it really stinks. But and this will be cleansed. But it is not unless it is your mission to do that. You don't have the responsibility to hang on to the suffering of others. Um, that being said, if you if you're confronted to a situation where love is, you, you can express your love by helping someone to deliver themselves from some kind of negative cycle. It is your mission to do so. You have to extend your hand. But what I mean is that you don't have to run around uh, chasing every everybody else's problem to solve everybody's problem. This is not at all the problem. You need to elevate yourself above the above the situation to find the sphere of light, jump into the light, and then from there you will have a neutral and lucid point of lucid uh, perspective with, in which you will be able to help and assist all those that you will come in contact with. Well, I hope this message was interesting. I wanted to briefly offer a little exercise. 
I was given by the Arcturian is, is, uh, is something that you, we may fail many times before we achieve it, but once we achieve it completely, it can change our life for the better and forever. Uh, the idea is to do it for a week, for one week. If we don't do it for a week, at least one day. You try to do it for one day. If you can do it for one day, do it for one hour. Everybody uh, will work on that on this level, but is to not complain. Not complain about yourself, not complain about others, not complain about anything about life. The more you are able to allow yourself to avoid any complaint, the more the sense of gratitude will flow into your life for all those things that are working and, and from there more can be coming. For If we have lacks in, within our life, we have first to recognize those things that are filled and by recognizing those things that are filled, we are attracting abundance to fill in all those other all those other um, aspects of our life. So I hope this will uh, will, be, uh, will have um, will make sense, and I hope you will work with that to, to stay in the state of joy. To it is quite a challenge not to complain. For humans, do complain all the time. I, I know myself. I, I'm used to that. But I'm, I'm removing, re-energizing re myself into um, into floating with humor over all those little things that may um, prevent me from experiencing joy at any given time. I'm going to finish with a song. It's a song about um, about slavery, a song uh, about finding freedom through music, about uh, connecting to the God inside, to be uh, to be empowered by the the, the the Almighty within yourself. It's called Redemption Songs. All pirates, yes, they rob I, sold I to a merchant ships. Minutes before they took I from the bottomless pit but my hand was made strong by the hand of the almighty we forward in this generation triumphantly won't you help me sing these songs of freedom cause all i've ever had redemption songs Redemption songs Emancipate yourself from mental slavery None but ourselves can free our minds Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and look Some say he's just a part of it we got to fulfill the book Won't you help me sing These songs of freedom Cause all I've ever had Redemption songs Redemption songs Redemption songs well, thank you very much for, for um, staying till the end. Uh, I want to wish you a wonderful day. P please cultivate joy within your being and uh, creativity, joy, happiness, for that is really what is the essence. We will bring more. We will bring more opportunity. We will open our mind. And, and as we, we get used to that feeling of, of freedom, of joy, of, of happiness, we, we, we may choose to anchor it and, 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 if possible, make it a permanent state of being so that we may share that energy with everyone that we encounter. I thank you for it, for it all and I wish you a good day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.